Hello everyone, you watching Damage Drop, my name is King Size Donut, and we have a drunk dog. So guys? And today we're gonna show you all the legendary drops from the warrior. Spoiler alert! Oh It's crap. the last boss. It's the last boss? I thought Jack was the last boss. Nah, that's not true, player. It's the warrior. It's the warrior, and we are in a Hyperion uh, opportunity this is, where we are right now, and we're gonna check out, first of all, the shield, only shield, legendary shield that... Uh, Drops on the warrior, it's the Impaler. As you can see, it got decent capacity, almost 40k, but you know, it's not always the same amount, so you yeah. might get different stats on it. But uh, it's really good, it has a lot of corrosive damage, as you can see. It got 36k spike damage, which is which is awesome. And, uh, and as if you read on the top there, it launches corrosive homing spikes when damaged with bullets. So it also corrodes guys from far away. That's insane. And insane. we're gonna we're gonna show you that right now. Vlad will be proud. So we got some Hyperion robots there to maximize the damage we can do with it. And let's see if we can do some corrosive damage. Just gotta find these suckers. It should be hanging around here somewhere. There we go. So let's see if we can see some spikes. There's the spikes. They're homing in on targets. And yeah. does a lot of damage as you can see. You see that? I was dead though. Almost okay. 60k on that guy because he. He's an Hyperion, of course, yeah. but still, deals a lot of damage. Oh, I'm dead. I'm just gonna have to just rest myself guy. a little bit. Oh, nope. I don't wanna throw that something else. Let's just see if I can kill this guy. This pistol isn't really that good. Oh, that was last second right there. Let's just see if I can heal myself a little bit. The boss Hyperion has, has a lot of uh, Hyperion robots. Yeah. robots. But if you use the uh, the Impaler shield, it will of course deal twice the damage on those guys. So not a bad shield to use. Yeah. So which is, it's not the B. So uh, yeah, B is gonna patch those, and maybe this will be a better use in the future. You don't have to see maybe. it. Maybe. <coughs> but if you can apply the shield, it's really good. Let's take a look at some of the other guns or not the guns. Let's take a look at the grenade mod. What we got here is the sticky homing fire leech. Yeah, it might not it, be sticky homing on you guys. I think it might not be fire, but uh, it will be the leech. Uh, yeah, it's called a leech, which is really good. It will split in. I'm not sure if it will split into four on every time, but it will definitely split into a, a specific number of shot grenades. And the really good thing about it, it has a lot of burn damage, so it's really good uh, against flesh. And, uh, but that's not the best thing about it. No, because it heals you a lot. Yeah, it was. And I mean a lot. It heals you full in one second. Yeah, it's the probably the best healing grenade out there because it will just heal it full. Yeah. Only downside. But we've been tried it out a little bit, and it doesn't seem to work on bosses. So that's yeah, uh, that's that's a downside with it. That's the downside with it, and bosses is really the only thing you can do in level fifty. So mm. uh, and but, also, but when you're farming. Uh, like mini bosses and yeah. things like that, it might be a good grenade for you. Mm. It's, re it's really good for healing. The only downside is it uh, it has to split up and do all the sort of things before the healing actually works. So it's let's just, just try it out here and see. Just take a little, little time. To work. So my health is pretty low right now. Let's just see if I can heal. This is an armed enemy, so it won't work that well on the damage, but I think it will heal mm. me fully. You can see yeah, the homies. Oh, yeah. And you can see the health. We got full, full health. Full health. I was my health was really low, and now I'm full again. Let's just see if I can take a little bit more damage, and we can also show off the shield a little bit. Just a spike from the shield, hitting that angelic card. And he hits again, and again, and I think he's, and he's down. He's down, let's just see if we can lose some, some yeah, uh, there he got there. hit. Okay, this guy is hitting me now, and there is the, uh, that, I don't think that was the, the spike from the shield. Okay, so, now, I got, uh, now my health is really low. Yeah. Throw the grenade. grenade, see what happens. It stucks on him, explodes, oh, splits up, and now it's gonna find another target. So if there's only one, one enemy, it's uh, not that good. But, uh, now the seeking target, and my health should rise up every second now, but I died. Uh, so the problem is you will probably try to have... It doesn't always go on the target you want it to go. Yeah, so right so there... That's the downside to it, but if you only find one target and it's hard as fuck, <laughs> it is a good grenade. Yeah, because it, it's it like try to home in on some enemies far away, and that way. You it, saw it earlier. Yeah, it, it works pretty good, and uh, when a lot of enemies stuff. 
which is close by. Really good healing aid, but not that good on boss fighting. Let's so. check out the weapons. Check out. First off, you're gonna show the one the of the flacker. shotguns. Yeah, the flacker. This is a really got really high damage. You can see 15,000. That's pretty good for a shotgun. Let's take a closer look. Got f this person got uh, five pellets. It's always explosive. And uh, you can see he's got 231% weapon damage and the fire rate's pretty good as well. Flack the world, baby. Let's just uh, show it in action. How it works. My health is really low now, though. But... Oh, at least we got a super just badass here. Let's see, see if, if that he can works. heal up. This guy's gonna... Let's see if my health goes up. Uh, oh. right, and go slowly up because he's high fearing, but... Yeah. It's going up. If he was a flesh, he would be full health instantly. Yeah. Let's just uh, check out this weapon. Let's, let me just stealth and go behind this guy. Because the bad thing about this gun, it got really short range. So it just explodes everywhere. And it got explosive damage, so that's good, because that's good against everything. Let's see if we can kill this guy with it. It's really... This is a... Oh, got some lag here. There you go. It is a good weapon, but... It's not I, to be honest, I really don't like it. No, See, it's super short range. We're gonna show the range right now. Yeah, just shoot just up in the pick sky. Up this, uh, rhythm. Oh, a lot of rhythm, actually. Shoot oh. up in the sky here and uh, See. check it out. It, it just explodes right in front of you. Yeah, like uh, all other shotguns will like uh, they'll hit on impact, but this will just explode in the air. So we gotta be really close. But it does cover a large area, so it's it good does. against. If, if you have a lot of enemies on you, it might be good. But yeah. then but the it, range you get really conference yeah. call, so <laughs> yeah. So let's go right to this is conference call, probably the best shotgun in the game right here. I think you all know what weapon this is. Yeah, this is what everyone want to get. Water drop. Uh, let's just show it off. Most people, this is the this is what the why people farm the water to get this shotgun. You got insanely good range. And fire rate. Yeah, it's and automatic. Damage. So the and it's the pellets just fly everywhere and will hit everything, and it's super good with the bee. Yeah. Uh, and keep in mind, we have we haven't used the bee. So no. What are we gonna show you with the bee and without the bee? Here's without the bee. Still got the impaler on. So yeah. You see, it shoots really fast, and it, you kill him really quick. Yeah, it was really quick. Let's just see if we can find some more, some more people. Guy behind you here. Yeah, here we go. He died really you know, quick. He's really quick, and you you aren't even using the B. Let's no. just switch to the B right now and check it let's out. Let's try it on this Harperian. Works really good. All right, so let's just switch to the B because this is this is the what everyone to get the conference call and the B together. That's what. That's like uh, that's Borderlands plays wet ring. You can see let's it right on there. this guy. One shot. No, he lost the shield. Yeah, but that's how much damage one hit does. Let's see if you can hold trigger. This is a warlord, we got a lot of health actually. I'm just gonna go in deception so it doesn't kill me while I reload. This guy's gonna try this uh, bot here. You see this guy's <laughs> really quick. And yeah, almost got your shield back. You yeah. just hide a little bit here. Okay. Get your shield. Okay, let's get the shield up so the B will actually work. Because it only works when your shield is fully. God, everyone's hiding and stuff. Let's just see if I can hide as well. Hide down this fountain of uh, something. Let's get out of here with. Uh... Oh, can I jump out? Okay, let's hit this guy. Boom, one shot. With the B. This guy, you can't actually damage this guy because he's. Uh... Gonna have to use a flak here. The flak is really good than these guys, I guess, because it goes it's explosive, it goes through their block. Yeah, but that's like, the only <laughs> use for it. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I think you all know, yeah, all know how the powerful the B and the Comfort Goal are together. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it, it's probably the best thing to use on bosses. Let's, let's uh, remove the B, because we don't really want to show the B that much. Alright, so here we are again. Change up location because in opportunity where we were uh, was only a hyper robots and we want to show this gun on some flesh because it's all about the fire damage, baby. 
Oh yeah. Is the volcano 18k damage? It's not bad. Not, you not can get a lot of snipers with more damage, but yeah. Uh, but uh, what's good about this sniper is the fire damage. Oh yeah. And that's a 50% chance to ignite, which is really good. And it can spread the fire damage to nearby enemies. And I say can because it never happens. <laughs> It is. It, ha it, it has happened. It has happened uh, for me a couple times, but uh, for some reason it never uh, seemed to. Happen I don't know if it's, it's a PlayStation thing or <laughs> what it is, but uh, it rarely happens. But we're gonna try show it out. All right. Let's just see how much fire damage we can pull off with this thing. It takes really fast, so I mean, it's really affecting against flesh. But uh, let's see if we. Oh, this guy's actually an armed enemy. Let's just take this guy out real quick. We just want the flesh, I guess. Where's my... Oh, oh fuck, I'm dying here. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can just get my deception now. Keep in mind, I'm a bloodshed assassin. Shoot now. Let's see. So that guy died, this guy is... Oh, there's a clay down this guy. You see, it does a lot of fire damage. There's a lot of people down here. Did that guy yeah, that explode. I'm almost dead here. Let's just show off this nade again, because I need to heal. We dodged it. As you can see, it deals a lot of fire damage, but it, it is supposed to spread the damage, but... It, ne it never it seems to happen, or it, it happens so rarely. Maybe they have uh, to stay on each other for it to work. Yeah, but that never really know, happens, so... It is a decent sniper, Anyways, but... Anyways, it is a good sniper. I have used it on Termorphos, and I've just been spamming on him with the B, of course, but everything <laughs> works great with the B, so... Yeah, we're not using the B right now. Uh, this is a good sniper if we get it, but there is a lot of better snipers out there. I believe this is the best sniper to use on flesh targets. Yeah, it's the best fire sniper, but... If but you uh, if you're fighting someone with a shield or appearing like robots, use another sniper. Yeah, so let's just try it on Doc Mercy last time. No, that didn't work. Alright, let's end it here <laughs> for Doc Kills Me. And uh, thanks for watching.